So we're going to be going into a Zerg vs. Protoss, this time on Mech Depot. One of the last remaining maps in this map pool. And it's definitely one with the, one of the longer rush distances, my friend. So still no Terrans for you, but what do you think of the Zerg vs. Protoss in, uh, on this map? Yeah, Mech Depot is kind of a special map, in my mm -hmm. opinion. It's... Um Wait, wait, do we have a, finally have a Terran in-game? Please mm. tell me yes. No, 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 it's ZVP. Oh, man. It, <laughs> it, it's another ZVP. Still no Terrans for you, man. Just just straight up Mech Depot. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I have no chance. But... <laughs> um, Maybe in the next Best of Seven, friend. <laughs> Maybe in the Best of Seven. You know what? That next best of seven is not too far away, so I'm kind of happy. Well, that's that assuming Psystorm uh, manages this. Um, Risen, you know, they could still go, uh, you know, on a 3 0 terror. That would totally shut down. But Psystorm only needs one more win to take it to the best of seven, man. We'll see how it goes. How, sh how should I pronounce the third player, by the way? Because uh, in Germany, it's just the flu. Uh. Let, let's pronounce it like that. Tell me, tell me it again when we introduce the players. I'll definitely introduce the uh, the Cystorm player in about you know 45 seconds. All right. And then I'll just follow your lead because I hell if I know. I do not know how to say that. I would actually call it like Gritha, but uh, I, that, that's that's totally fine to be honest. It's it's with your English pronunciation, but I that's... want I want to go with the German dude. Let let's let's do that because that just <laughs> it seems cooler. The, the German is Grippe, it's... it's. I can uh, do that, I can do that. Grippe. <laughs> That's close um, enough. <laughs> it, it, it's close enough, you tried. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you go ahead and introduce him on the top right hand side of Mech Depot in the Green Zerg it's, it, Go it's, for it's it, man. A green, it's a Green Zerg in this best of seven, uh, well, kind of awkward format. And it's Grippe! Will yes. he bring the flu to his enemy? Will he? <laughs> and on the bottom left hand side, in the blue Protoss Trumps, he is playing for Psystorm Gaming! It's Disc! Alright, so we've got a little bit of a weird build out of Grippe. Um, I, I feel so weird trying to say it. We're just going to go with it. Um, he's actually not gone for any kind of gas uh, with this opener, and that's that's a really big tell. We actually have that being scouted by the probe. So, Disc, if he he's is a solid... If, if Disc is a solid uh, Protoss player, he is going to completely shut this down and go for a depth, man, and that will completely obliterate the fact that there will be no wing speed for quite some time. Oh man, Zerg, take your gas, it's there for you, just take it. Well, it's more economical to do this. You saw this style, it's like, it's called the Ice Fisher build, um, typically he won't get a gas until anywhere between 36 and 44 supply, but it's really vulnerable to adepts, and of course the Stargate that's about to finish as well, Oh my god, now slowlings are going to be poking in here, and he does see but the that, death. Mm -hmm. That's just a scout, nothing yeah. else. Oh, we see a Stargate just finishing up in the main of this. Yeah. So we see an Oracle in the follow-up. Mm -hmm. So we, you have no gas, you can just defend them with spores and queens. Mm -hmm. um, there is a chance, and uh, well, but without link speed, I, I see... The Zerg really lacking very hard in, in terms of uh, map control. Well, I mean, definitely you, you definitely la lack map control with this style. You also absolutely lack larva. Um, you require that third uh, base in order to have enough larva to make the lings that you're going to need to defend. And right now, just by delaying this, disc is really punishing Gripa's style here. That's, is that a fast layer or am I mistaken? Uh, it's the... not that fast. Um, it, it was really delayed by the fact that no gas were taken for quite some time. Uh, normally it's about so, three and a half. To there's four no minutes. queen. There's nothing. This oracle just goes nuts. Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven kills. Uh huh. Uh huh. Take some more. Ten, eleven. What the hell? 
now the late response from Gripper and that's game. Dude, what that heck? was intense. Hold on, let's back this up for, for just a second because this was actually a really huge moment. Um, like... Uh, he was he was busy defending mm -hmm. his potential third mm -hmm. with uh, with adepts and something. The queens were on the natural. Yeah. And this, and he just pulled down the queens when he started his lair, I guess. Yeah, he or has to because the adepts are completely there, and that adept is just completely shutting it down. So what he wants to do is use the queens to zone out the adept, and of course, two more queens are were there to kill off that adept. But while the queens were at the third and the natural it completely exposed that main it really just came down to the fact that the adepts were able to pull the queens wherever they they wanted them to be and that was just because there was no link speed it all came back to that lack of gas or initially yes and as oracle just well <laughs> shoot, shooting fish in a barrel mm -hmm. yeah man <laughs> it was that was a pretty brutal game and that is going to make it 4-1, Cystorm taking this first best of seven. And we're going to be launching right into the next best of seven, dude. Yeah, sure. Uh, but, but I didn't expect this best of seven to be that clear. It's, yeah. I mean, that wasn't even a very aggressive uh, style. It was just the answer to the build. Uh, the probe mm -hmm. was scouted. He, he saw no gas. Uh, you wanted, uh, he wanted to uh, take his third early and he definitely didn't know how to deal with that first yeah. the pilot then the gateway uh, then adapts and uh, well if you pull over uh, mm -hmm. some links and don't send him in the enemy base maybe that would have been something he scouted with two links and yeah. they just ran into the first adept maybe yeah. he just could have used uh, these two links or and maybe another drone to clear off the pylon really quick and um, to actually start the base because one adept on its own can kill the base, which is merging. Mm -hmm. I think the real issue with that is he just wanted to hold that adept there uh, for a little bit longer. I just, I, don't, I think you're right, man. I think he needed it there at that third base. The larva was more important. It's just a lot of questionable decisions there by Grippe, but we it's, we, we mm -hmm. cannot uh, go back in time. No, no, and there is no I'm, going I'm, back. I, I'm kind of happy about that because uh, I would change like basically every moment of my life, and I wouldn't be myself. Right, right. I'm like one of those players in an RPG. I've got to play through every option. I've got to click it. Oh nope, I don't like what that does. Let's reset. Let's go back to the previous. Let's reload. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm one of those players. So if you could do that in real life, it would be really, really bad for me, man. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.